on board your board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits. Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. Wait, 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 wait. Let me get this straight. You and my dad had a, a deal. You bet everything you own. And he bet me. Yeah, he bet you. Well, hell. That means I win. He wins. Actually, since you were declared the loser first, it doesn't matter if you know, the, your opponent dies after and you're still alive. Huh? What are you saying? You're still lost. And were declared dead long before Leo did. So, you know... Uh, No. No, 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 no. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> yep. Sorry, but you're all mine now. <laughs> oh, that bastard. I can't believe he actually... Where is he? He's gone. One second, please. As Izuku, he catches up with Zashi, who is in a taxi, and he... As soon as he sees his son, he's like, Bastard, go faster. But it is useless, because as soon as he gets home, Izuku's already there when he thinks he lost him. He's Uh... <sighs> Listen, as Inko is right behind him. We're listening. Him explaining that it was a surefire way for, for to win, but it's like, no, you fucked up. Hey, it's your fault for losing. It's your fault for betting me. Betting on me, that's a, that's a, that was a good gamble, but betting me, you, you didn't catch up on that? What? If she was so confident that she would have given you everything she has, and not to mention, you realizing, like, oh wait, she wants my son, you, you didn't think she had a contingency plan? You, you didn't realize that she would have... That she... That's something... Oh, I'm gonna kill him. Get in line. Uh, listen. For one, it, I, I, I don't think I should be the one at fault here. See, I, I, yeah, I, I uh, no, shut the fuck up. What? I am entitled to fucking curse whenever I want. Especially in this situation. Oh, no, I agree with you. I just, I just wanted to say that. Oh. Well, sorry, maybe next time. So... How should you be punished? As they hear the doorbell. What? What's that? Isuku's just. It's her. Who? My new owner, thanks to dad. Okay, how about I try talking to her? That, that's not gonna work. What, what, what are you talking about, dad? She is a woman of her word. 
what she was literally going to give me everything and so i it was more than just a verbal contract we we shook on it we written down shit and this woman must have i know how she did it she yes she knew about my quirk the only thing is she knew that wherever she well killed me with you died uh, yes <clears throat> but anyway what she ended up using was a type of toxin that my body had been has uh, integrated but yeah, it's something that would I would have to readapt to. Luckily, it took it didn't take nearly as long as it did the first time, but that's what she laced his claws and seemingly his fur with to make sure that yeah, I am not getting back up. So yeah, she planned this out. I I I got hustled. <laughs> You can hustle. I got sold. You sold me. I, um, I'm so sorry. No, no. It's going to take more than sorry. Why don't you give yourself up? I. It's, it's all in the contract. I can't. I want to kill you right now right here right now as the doorbell keeps on ringing and it goes like fuck it <laughs> you can't have my son I, I, I. listen though yes by the contract that your husband signed that Izuku does technically belong to me, but he is still his own person. Only thing is, he'll be staying with me from now on. So, think of it like your kid going off to college or finally moving out. No! 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 That's, there is a difference between him going to college and moving out. To being sold to someone. I, uh, Inca Midoriya, I, I love watching your fights. They, they are very entertaining. <laughs> you're not you're not going to try buttering me up just so I'll allow you to take my son away. Oh no, I'm not trying to butter you up. I, I am actually a fan and want your autograph too. Uh, Mom... Just do it. We, we, there, there's nothing that can be done. Nothing that can change what Dad has done. So at the very least, be nice to your fan. I'm going to kill you, Hazashi. I... I would expect that. <sighs> Here. Thank you so much. Can I get a picture too? Uh, you are just a little fangirl, aren't you? Hey, I'm an adult. Uh, yeah, if you say so. Is yeah, it's an awkward moment after an awkward moment, cause. Yeah, she's been going really over Inko. It's just that Izuku is pretty much like, I ain't wearing no leash or collar. Like, why would I have you do that? I mean, yes, you may be the son of someone I admire, and yes, you are uh, technically mine. Thank you, Mr. Midoriya. Don't, don't make this worse. But, <laughs> please believe me. I'm just going to have you as a fighter and a residence as, at my uh, estate. That's all. Pretty much. 
you may do some other jobs and whatnot, but mm, all in all, you're you're free to do whatever you want. Really, so I can come visit my mom and you didn't say that, didn't I? Huh? Uh, you did that on purpose. Did I? I wonder why. Well, yes, you can. I mean, I will still call upon you. Uh, so, this is no servant master type thing. This is ain't no S and M. Be wait, how do you know about that? Don't worry about it, mom. But uh, no, 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 not not at all. If anything, I'm. Very impressed you lasted as long as you did with my brother. What? He goes like, what, what, what does she mean by brother? As, yeah, she shapeshifts into a lioness, and they like, so Leo was your brother? Yeah. Uh, and you just allowed him to die? What? Uh. <clears throat> yeah, Leo's dead. How? The Kamo, the Kamo Dragon Venom, the toxin. You used it on your claws, didn't you? Of course. You know how, you know how crazy and potent that stuff is. Added on my quirk. <sighs> Did you also know how dangerous it is if you nix someone you didn't mean to? Fair point, very fair point. But this this secured my victory after you died. Yeah. But either way, let's go. Mom, I'll see you when I can see you. Dad... Go to hell. I I deserve that. I deserve that, yeah. <laughs> Again, I'm so sorry. Like, mm -mm -mm -mm. And then go to like, wait. Let me see this contract here. Uh sure, but as Ingo just snatches it, he's just reading the Ah. Uh, okay, I'm going. Can I get a copy of this? Why? Why? Because a friend of mine, I'm pretty sure she'll be able to help us out here. Uh. Oh, okay, sure, sure, of, of course. Um, some time goes by, and he's like, here, thank you. And Izuku is off to his new life. When he sees everything, he's just like, "Whoa, this this is crazy." You like it? Well, yes. This is one of the biggest houses I've ever seen. Yeah, but it's only a summer home. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, I really just use this for summer and vacations and, you know, whatever. <laughs> so what you're saying is, my real, my real residence is bigger? Yes. Fucking rich people. Hey, not, not all of us are the same. <sighs> I guess I can't deny that. Anyway, here. What's this card for? You being a uh, employee, employee of mine, of course you get an expense account. Pray tell how much is the how big is this expense account? Upon hearing the number of at least how much money he has ability to spend, he's conflicted. It's like. On one hand, I want to kill my dad. On the other hand, I kind of want to thank him for giving me such a cushiony job. 
Either way, you can just pick a room and sleep in it. That's and uh, I have some business to take care of. Really, you don't want the world's strongest creature with you on this business. It's personal. Say less. Say less. As he's just walking around the ground, he sees all of the maids and butlers just looking at him. One of them just bumps into him by accident and just starts being hella apologetic and scared. Hey, but what do you think I'm going to do? Eat you? Please don't. I'm kidding! As then he... Like, Wait a minute. Him getting closer is like... A rabbit? Wait, you're a bunny rabbit? As soon as she freaks out, yes, yeah, she's... What the hell? As he just wonders, are all these people, do they all have animal based quirks? As yes, he goes around pretty much catching a whiff of, whiff of everything, at least every one. He's like, all of these animals in the wild would be considered prey. No wonder they're so scared of me. Someone who's deemed the apex predator, yes, of course their internal instincts will be terrified. <sighs> Man, this sucks. <sighs> As then he comes across. The thing. Hmm? Wait, what's she saying? Hey, it's her. He cracks the door open. He sees that she's talking with someone. Okay, super hearing. Do your shit. So your brother is dead. Yes. But he won in the end. Correct. Well, at least he wasn't. Then useless. Does this mean that I can know what you know our laws, our rules? You cannot run the head of the family. You cannot. But I gained something far much greater. You lost your brother, who was to be the next head of the family. Yes, I get that, but. Now I have someone far better. I have the Apex Predator. Izuku Madoya. Come on, that, that proves your brother is the one who defeated him to begin with before he died. It only proves that he was worthy. Not you. But I have him at my beck and call whatever I want. I can get him to do whatever I want, all because of his father's idiocy and your brother's determination. All you did was set up a fight and take advantage of an idiot. But I still won at the cost of your brother. I know you don't agree with the way we do things, but this is the way it's been done for years. We can't just change the rules. If I was the head of the family, I would change all of them. I'm sure you would. But my decision still remains the same. You are not to run this family. For Dad, no buts. As seeing as your brother has been sadly gone, 
you can say dead if you gone. We will have to find a suitable husband for you. Dad, no buts. My decision is final. Goodbye.